do you have the feeling that、uh, even though the book you're reading is bad, you have the obligation to complete it? Well, yeah, that's what I have been having to, from February to March. You might be wondering why I promise you guys that I will post a book review each month, but then in February there is nothing on my channel relating to a book review. Well, the reason for that is from February I have been trying to complete a fiction、um, that I've chosen to read, but somehow. Even up till now, I still haven't finished. I only finished like twenty three percent of that book, and which is also a sign that that story might not be a st story that's suitable for me.、Uh, but yeah, I still have the obligation to complete it, so that's why I couldn't post on February because I haven't completed the book, and I don't think I could give a throughout an honest review towards that story. But、so、then in the middle, I feel like oh, I have to stop this、uh, sense of responsibility, or I will keep having this sense of responsibility. But at the same time, other than that book, I must. Also read other books as well. Perhaps some books that are shorter, but at least you know something else. So that's where this book come in, which is this month's book review. So this month's book review,、um, I'm going to talk about this graphic novel、uh, called Night Lights by. Sorry if I mispronounce your name, but yes, R Lorena Alvarez. Hopefully, I did the most pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, but this is a graphic novel. I must say, if you look at the graphics, it's amazing.、Wow. I have always wanted to own this book for I think for two years. I saw this like two years ago, but then I was not working, and and I feel like I don't want to spend. Like extra money on a graphic novel, and in fact, this is a novel, like a graphic novel for children. So I was like, no,、nah, I'm not gonna get it. But then this book stuck in my mind for two whole years. You can imagine how much I wanted it. So eventually, I think at the beginning of March this year, I decided, well, why do I get it? And I bought it, and it came. So yeah, this book. I think the. Plot the synopsis that attract me was because it's relating to this girl.、Um, Having her imaginations come true or come true in her mind and stuff, and I somehow felt related to her because when I was little, I often draw, write, and these characters that I create or the stories I create somehow would appear in my dreams or in my imaginations. Yeah, this book is about imaginations, imaginary friends, magic. You can say that.、Um, if you look at the synopsis, it's like every night tiny lights appear out of the darkness in Sandy's bedroom. So this girl here is Sandy. She catches them and creates wonderful creatures to play with until she falls asleep. Which this is exactly that single phrase that attracted my attention.、Um, and in the morning, she brings them back to life in her、uh, whimsical drawings. When a mysterious new girl appears at school, Sandy's drawings are no,、uh, noticed for the first time. But Morphe's fascination with Sandy's talent soon turns into something far more sinister. So basically, you can. I think this synopsis kind of explains the whole plot of this comic, which is the tiny, the, the one single thing that kind of disappoints me because I thought there were more. But somehow, I feel like this summary sums up everything that's happening from the first page to the end, and that's kind of you know you expect to be more, but then there's not more, and yeah, that kind of disappointed me a bit. But then I must say I really like that. If you have seen other novels, graphic novels, it's always with the same layout where you like、uh, read it from here. Here and then, you know, very, you know, if you look at Japanese comics, you would say. But I really enjoy this, the layout that is presented in this book. It's irregular. There's not a really a pattern. Sometimes it's a whole page with conversations. It's so different from Japanese animes, right? So sorry for the background. Someone's singing opera, and I don't know why they choose to sing opera at this moment. But yeah, bear with me. So. I do have a lot of pages that I really like. So you have the traditional kind of、uh, layouts. Then suddenly you would have layouts like this, and、um, you know, two consecutive pages like this. And you know, you it, you can see there's also layouts like this, with like one picture at the back, and there's this conversation here, and、um, it's it's like.、Um, A different angles at some point. It's so similar to a graphic novel that I've recently come across, The Arrival,、uh, which I'll probably talk about that and give a review on that as well when the book comes. Because I've read the book, I wanted to own it, so I bought bought it online. Then it it should be brought with these this book as well, but only this arrive and arrival was like never arrive upon. Anyway, so yes, um, there's layouts like this. 
So uh, it's very irregular. Sometimes the view is like very close shot, and then that's a far shot. It's it's like uh, watching um. You know, what is that called? It's like watching a movie at some point. It's not really like actually just reading a comic. And as you can see, this is also interesting. Sometimes, like in each frame, you should be there should be like words. Sometimes they don't have words, but you have you look at the, all the details like here, in in the shops and stuff. It makes you want to look a few more times even though there isn't really a, a plot or something that relates to a plot if you can see there are really irregular pages like this in fact this is uh, the plot is starting from here and there's a plot going here through these two pages but you don't seem to see it because it's not being constrained in frames which are real life because it's like a flow of things you could probably like really like here i'm sure some people would be confused by this page but for me it's very interesting because somehow the plot goes here without being constrained by a plot, the sense of freedom, freedom from the traditional layout of, of comics, which is really great, uh, at normal as well. And yeah, uh, uh, my favorite page would be this one among the irregular frameworks or layout would be this one because somehow you can see the two kids are playing around this table, but then they play different things. You might have not noticed uh, at the beginning because normally there are frames telling you, oh, this is one, two, three, four, five. But no, it can be seen as different orders. You can just look at here and look at, oh, they're playing with this. And then perhaps like, go, oh, they're playing with this. Or oh, you can really like this, uh, read this, read this, they're playing this, and then, 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 blah, blah. So there is a freedom for readers as well, other than the, um, the artist herself having the freedom to, you know, create like freedom out of the traditional layers. It can be that. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this page, which is also my favorite thing about this book. Now, um, I think going back to the plot, I'm not going to spoil too much, but the, I've said the plot kind of already explained everything here. And I must say there are loose ends that haven't been tied. Um, I don't think the artist expected it to be like a sequel. I'm not sure. I thought it was just one book, but I didn't have the sense like that, I believe. It's a bit weird because I kind of expect it to be like one book. It didn't give me the sign that it's a sequel, but then the ending was like, yeah, it feels like something's not ended. It's not satisfying a way, but I do love the context, especially as I've mentioned here, um, the characters, uh, how she imagines stuff. She catches the delights at inside the dark and creates wonderful creatures, and which I think it's inside the scene. The moment I saw that... Um, concept i really like it like how many kids like a lot of kids always imagine that inside dark there are friends accompanying with them i myself still at this moment is very afraid of being alone in the dark and i sometimes have to imagine things in my head like positive beautiful creatures things to get myself like off my mind from those horrifying things that we imagine inside the dark and i feel like this is somehow like that so this is the the scene where the little girl like inside a dark and then she sees lights you know imaginative lights in your head catches them you know think hard about it and then voila the beautiful world of imaginations in her dreams with a lot of creatures in it beautiful creatures in it i must say the graphics it's so astonishing i really love it um i myself personally really love um, I would choose Japanese animates or Japanese comics over um, Western comics and cartoons. But then this is kind of a mixture between um, Japanese and Western cartoon, which I really love. I, that's why I have no regret buying this. Even though the, a plot is a bit, like tiny bit, like 0 0.01 kind of disappointed. But then with all the graphics in it, and I think I would constantly go back to this book just to look at the details that sh the artists have put inside. Even I would say for children definitely this is suitable for children who are in the stage of developing you know creativity imagination show them the the benefits the joy of in being an imaginative which i think hong kong children need this very much um then as for you know young adults or teenagers that is definitely worth it as well if you're an artist you know or someone who likes art definitely go buy it the graphics are so beautiful and for me it's like a reminder of my childhood it's like revisiting my childhood so as a young adult that I really enjoyed it as well in the sense that I really enjoyed the concept of the story and you know seeking for little details and stuff in this book 
Anyways, yeah, overall speaking, I really love this book and hope you guys, you know, after watching video would be interested in buying this. So this is a paperback version. They do have a hardback version, but more expensive. I'm glad, like, I think two years ago when I saw that it was a hardback cover and that's why it cost so much. Then they have the paperback version, which cost so much less. So that's why I bought it. So yeah, if you couldn't afford much, buy the paperback version. It's not too bad. The quality is also good. But if you really, really like it, you know, you want something beautiful, you can go for the hardback cover. It's totally worth it, I must say. Anyways, yes, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching this video. And let's end this video by saying remember to stop existing, start living and be alive. Bye!